Hello, my sparklies. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to be working on creating long lines with our legs. In belly dance, we tend to focus a lot on our core and all these fun little isolations, which is great. It's awesome. But sometimes we want to learn to use the rest of our body, right, to create these beautiful poses, to create movements. So we're going to work on something called a rond de jambe. All you'll need is something to put your hand on to help with balance. I'm just using a folding chair. You can use a chair, you can use your kitchen counter, the back of a couch, whatever you've got. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand with our feet right underneath our hips. So find your hip bones, feet are right underneath there, pointing straight to the front. We're gonna soften those knees, drop the tailbone, roll the shoulders back, one hand on your bar, chair, whatever. So we have that nice dance posture, right? No party butt. Zip it under, whoop. All right, we're gonna keep that alignment the whole time. For right now, options for the op opposite hand. We can just hold your hand on your hip if you don't want to think about it. If you want to train those arms a little bit, we're going to come out in that nice second position. Roll the shoulder back, lift that elbow. Or you could do more of a belly dance second position where that elbow is a little softer. Wherever you want to practice today, it's totally fine. And I said, if you don't want to worry about your arm, put it on your hip. So we're going to focus on this leg first. So this leg, it's the one furthest from your chair is going to come out and I'm pointing my toe, point, 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 point. And I'm gonna rotate, my leg is as straight and stiff as it can be. It's gonna rotate all the way around to the back. And I'm gonna flex the foot as I bring it in. I'm gonna go straight through, point the toe. Circle around, good, and bring it through. We wanna keep those hips right where they are. Don't lock out the standing leg, keep it a little bit soft. Good, nice and slow. See how nice and level my head is? If you had your flaming sword on top of your head, it would totally stay there. All right, now if we wanna get a little fancy with it, oh, let me show it to you. Yeah, let's get fancy, then I'll show it to you from the side. Fancy, we were just going straight and around. What we could do is add a plie, add a little bend. So when my leg comes out, my opposite leg is going to bend. I'm going to bend and then straighten it as it comes around. Bend as it goes to the front, straighten as it comes around. Let me show you from the side. I'm going to maintain that alignment, feet facing front. I'm going to put my hand here so it's out of the way so you can see. Point to the front, bend, straighten as it goes all the way around to the back. Pull in. Got to keep this real tight as you go to the back so we don't release into that party butt, right? So I'm going down and around, but my head is fair. It doesn't wobble, right? My head stays right where it is. Good, give me one more here. One more bend. Leg is straight, toe is pointed. Beautiful. Now, one more bonus layer if you want to. This is a little bit crazy. That's a little crazy. So if you're a more advanced dancer, try it. If you're just starting, maybe hold off on this one for a minute. We're gonna add a chest circle. All right, so our chest is going to circle towards our bar, up and around. So it's gonna circle the same direction as our leg is going. So what's gonna happen? The plie is optional, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I'm an overachiever like that. So I'm gonna bend my leg, slide my chest over. I'm gonna straighten as I circle the chest and the leg around. Bend and slide, circle and straighten. Bend and slide, straighten and circle. This is a lot to think about. This looks really pretty when you use it as a traveling step, or it's just a fun way to train some funky isolations. One more. Beautiful, shake it out. I'm gonna do the other side. So I'm just gonna move my bar over here, and I'm gonna be a little bit at an angle so you can kind of see from the front and the side. So feet are right under the hips, facing the front, soften the knees, drop the tailbone, roll the shoulders back. Hand can be out in a second or on your hip, wherever you want to be today. So starting with just the leg, I'm going to point it out. My toe is pointed, leg is straight. Circle all the way around and then pull it through. Point, rotate through. Don't lock out that standing leg. Keep the abs engaged so we don't release the tailbone to the back. Good. And breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing is important. Couple more times. Good, keep those hips pointing right to the front. Don't let them rotate around. Good, if you wanna add that bend, that plie, and straighten, you can. If your arm gets tired, put it here. Keep that head, it's gonna go up and down, but it's not gonna wobble around. Good, slower is better. 
especially when you're starting. As you go a little further, you might want to try it a little bit faster, but we want to keep those hips in alignment, the leg straight, the toe pointed, and the chest and the head don't move. Now, if you want to add that chest circle, we're going to slide our chest towards our bar, up and around. So our chest circles the same direction as the leg. Totally optional. Add it if you want. If not, just keep going. With the music, here we go. Slide and up and around. Slide and bend, circle and straighten. Slide and bend, circle and straighten. So my hips still shine to the front. They're not moving, but I've got this added chest circle for bonus kicks and giggles. Couple more. If you want to get really fancy, you could even do it up on releve. But uh, let's not, let's, let's not today. Woohoo! Slide up and around. Slide up all the way around. Good. Let's take a quick back stretch. Hands all the way up. Feet are hip width apart. All the way down. Soften those knees when you get to the bottom. Relax that head. Take a little bend and straighten. You can do both knees or one and the other, maybe a little sway in that upper back, whatever you need to, to release the low back, maybe the back of the legs, soften the knees so the chest is on the thighs, keep the head nice and relaxed, engage the low abs, drop the tailbone and roll it up, vertebra by vertebra, inhale all the way up, and exhale, Gorgeous. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that one. It's a little bit different, a little challenging, kind of works in different parts of your brain, but it's a good one. Let me know what you think. If you have questions, feel free to get a hold of me and we will see you next time.